Inside Science. Why is this promising? It's because the fuel is so abundant as to make it inexhaustible, really, for mankind. It is a process which is um, inherently safe because it relies on everything being extremely hot. Even though that makes it difficult to happen on Earth, what it means is that if any intrusion of the terrestrial world into the fusion environment stops it, there is no possibility of losing control of it. In that sense, it doesn't have long-lived radioactive waste. And it's a power source that in the end you would believe would be deployable in a wide variety of ways because of all those features. It doesn't have any geographical limitations. And then finally, it's highly resistant, if not proliferation-free. In many ways, it's different than fission, which most people are familiar with, which is uh, what powers our, our present nuclear uh, fleet. Its physics is fundamentally different, but it's a nuclear source, but, so it has those features which we like about nuclear energy. Namely, it has very high power density, namely meaning you can make a lot of power in a small object. This makes it very attractive for producing, for instance, centralized and distributed electricity. So this is why we pursue it. In many ways, if you can make this economically competitive against other ways that we produce electricity, it's really in some sense the ultimate answer actually to our energy needs because it's carbon free, it's deployable into our present energy sector, and it's inexhaustible. So it's difficult to make it happen, but it's so attractive. This is why we keep working at it. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.